welcome to CAD Tutorials and in this video I'll be covering practice problem 9.5. Now in contrast to practice problem 9.4, here we are actually given phases and we are asked to transform these into sinusoids. So a sinusoid is of the general form A cos omega t plus phi, right? where this is a phase, this is the angular frequency, this is the time, this is a trig function cosine, and this is the amplitude. So what you want to do is to transform this into a positive amplitude. And to do that, you basically just add or subtract 180 degrees from this given angle. And so your result will either be 25, cos wt plus 40 degrees plus 180 degrees which will give you 25 cos wt plus 220 or if you decide to subtract 180 degrees instead then you basically have 25 cos wt plus 40 degrees, subtract 180 degrees, and the result will be 25 cos wt minus 140 degrees. So don't forget the units. So these two sinusoids are equivalent, and you can prove this by assuming t to be zero. Now taking t to be zero will make this term zero. So you'll only have 25 cos 220 degrees, so punch that into your calculator, you should get um, negative 19.15. And if you, you assume zero here as well, and punch uh, 25 cos of negative 140 degrees, you should also get negative 19.15, which confirms that these two are actually the same. But if you check in the textbook, only one of these will be written, right? So now let's move on to this. To this side or to the second section of this question so the first thing you do is to multiply through so j multiplied by 12 is j12 then j multiplied by j is negative 1 and the negative 1 multiplied by this negative will lead to a positive so we have plus 5 right so a complex number is therefore 5 plus j12 now you can punch this into your calculator to transform it into polar form. So let's do that quickly. What you do is just punch in 5 plus 12i, right? Like that. And your i, remember, you use this ng button. So say equals to, after saying equals to, that would be your answer. And after doing that, you basically just say shift option 2, right? Then you go to the third option over here, which is of this form, which is the form which you're actually looking for. So you're going to pick option three and say equals to. Now this gives us 13 with an angle of 67.38. So 13, so this is the same as 13 with an angle of 67.38 degrees. Now from this, you can simply move from, just a reminder that you can actually move from a polar form like this to the same sinusoid represented using a cosine like this. So this is the basic rule which you're actually using. This is the amplitude and this is the phase. So you just plug these two into these parts and that will be your sinusoid, right? Now, this part will be given in some other questions, and if it's not, this is generally your basic form. And therefore, in this case, our answer or the corresponding sinusoid will be 13 cos wt or omega t plus 67.38 degrees. Not forgetting the units, so i is equal to 13 cos omega t plus 67.38 degrees. So that is how you solve this particular question, transforming a phaser into its corresponding sinusoid.